Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Cody here from Gold City Ventures. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can use Google Trends to identify different printable ideas and figure out if they're a good option or not. So I'm on Google Trends. You can just type in trends.google.com into your browser, hit enter, and you should show up on a page very similar to this one. Now I'm gonna show you a cool feature. This is not where most of the video is going to go, but I do wanna show you a cool feature beforehand, and this is the what's trending right now. So sometimes, most of the time actually, these are not really too helpful in creating printables, but it's nice to know what is searching and what is trending every single day. So if I go into trending searches, I went on this left sidebar here, clicked on trending searches. Today is May 8th when I'm recording this, and you can see the trending searches of the day and how many people are searching those terms. So happy is Mother's Day. Maybe I'll make a Mother's Day card or something Mother's Day related for my shop. I can scroll down. A lot of these look like things I probably cannot capitalize on in my Etsy shop or in my printable shop. There are a lot of NFL stuff I've been seeing. You do have to be careful with licensing and copyright, but maybe I could make a football related printable that might sell well. This is not where we're gonna be focusing our time in this video, like I mentioned today, because we are actually going to be using the Explore tool. So this is one of my favorite tools to figure out, okay, is this printable idea that I have a viable option and is there maybe a better option where I could get more sales, more conversions, more eyes on my product? So I'm just gonna type in a search term. It's gonna automatically prompt you, you can see my cursor here, add a search term. I'm gonna type in printable planner. And I'm gonna show you this and then I'm gonna use a compare function in a second. So printable planner, cool. So this is over the past 12 months. I have it set on worldwide. You can also change this to United States. You can change it to any country that you want. United States I could do. And it might change a little bit. It looks pretty similar. I'm just gonna keep it on worldwide. You can, uh, past 12 months, I could change this to, I like using past 12 months and past five years are usually pretty good indicators of a product that might be evergreen. Uh, I don't usually touch categories or web search. Okay, so now we have this printable planner. You can see all these different spikes over the years. As you can guess, these are probably, let me look, Yes, these are January. So this is when people are getting their stuff together. They have their New Year's resolutions. They want to stay organized. This is when printable planners are trending. So that might be interesting to say, okay, if I want to create this printable planner, maybe I should have it come out in October or November to kind of get that SEO momentum going. And then I can start really selling these things in January when the searches go way, way up. Because these search volumes are, man, they've got to be double or triple what they are during normal times in the year. Now, let me just scroll down some more, show you some of the other cool features here. You can also see the interest by region. If I had this set to just United States, I could see interest by state. You can also see related topics. And then also, this is my favorite one here, is related queries. So you can see planner printable, printable planner, planner 2018, 2018 planner, all this stuff. So you can say, okay, well, it's 2020. I'm not sure exactly why these are the related queries coming up, but it looks like a planner printable. It's breakout. This is really, breakout means it's really, really high queries compared to other times. Maybe if I can click through a few more of these. Nope, all of these are breakout, meaning really, really high search volume. Sometimes it will say like 150%, 300% of normal, but these look like they're all doing really well. You can also change these from rising. You can put these to top. So these are like the trending stuff, but you can put these to top, like top of all time or in your designated time frame. So of course, free printable is gonna be up there. Most of the time, free printable is definitely up there because people do like free printables, but you can still make a killing if you know the right words that you can target and the keywords and things like that. And that's why we're using Google Trends here. So let me go back up here. So printable planner. Now I'm gonna compare this to a digital planner. And then we can start to look at some of the things here. And I'm actually going to do this. Let me just cheat for a second. I'm going to go to past 12 months. And you might say, okay, Cody, this seems like a no-brainer. The printable planner, as you can see, is the blue line. It has higher average search volume. This 47 is arbitrary. It's just like relative to this. It's not, it doesn't mean 47 people per month are searching printable planner. It's a lot more than that. But you could say, okay, Cody, most of the time this blue line is over this red line. So it doesn't even make sense. Why would I even try to create a digital planner when I could just make a printable planner and there's all these other people searching for it? Well, obviously you gotta take into account competition and things like that, but an interesting thing, so let's go back. This is why I was cheating and going to the past 12 months. Let's go to the past five years. And the cool thing about Google Trends is it recognizes trends. So if we go back to, what is this, May 10th of 2015, digital planners is getting outshined by printable planners by a margin of, what is it, 41 to seven. That is a pretty big ratio. But as you can see, it kind of tightens up and actually digital planners have been on the rise. So this is trending up. So if this trend continues into say 2021, 2022 and beyond, digital planners might actually start to 
out search printable planners. And that might be an awesome option for you in your printable shop. So that's just something to consider. Obviously, both of these look like pretty good options. If we go back to that past 12 months view, they do have a lot of search volume and you could definitely make some sales here. But this is just one of the many things you can do to make sure that, okay, is this thing that I'm creating or is this keyword that I'm trying to compete for something that's viable? And looking here, I mean, this five, this past five years graph, looks like digital planners are on the rise. So that might be a good arena to dip your toes into. And printable planners are still great too. So let's do another search. I'm just going to show you some more of these features. And so if you want to clear your search, you can just go manually three dot. You can hit remove or you can hit edit. Um, or you can just click Google Trends and it will kind of reset everything for you. So I'm going to do that. Resets everything for me. I am back on the explore tool and I'm going to type in birthday invitation. So we're going to see what this search volume is like. It defaults. Now I'll, I'll keep it on United States for this one. So I have United States. I have past 12 months. All right, you can see this is the COVID-19 coronavirus crisis. And you can see these invitations are way down because people are not hanging out in person nearly as much as they used to be. But this isn't a good indicator here because things are probably going to normalize. And you might be watching this video a year from now, like, oh, Cody, I already forgot about, forgot about that. That's totally fine. So let's kind of compare this. Let's say, I don't know what kind of invitation I want to make. I want to make an invitation, but I'm not sure what people are searching for. So let's type in wedding invitation. And I'm guessing there's still going to be the drop off. Yep. Still the huge cliff in March when the coronavirus started. Now let's go back and look over five years for say past five years. All right. So these seem to kind of follow each other here. So what is this where birthday invitation and wedding invitation are really spiking in January? That's kind of interesting to me. That's something I wouldn't have expected, but these are the things that you can learn from Google Trends. So maybe if you are making this wedding invitation, it looks like a lot of people are planning their weddings and they're sending out those invitations for the new year. So that is a really good thing to know. You want to make sure that if you have a wedding invitation, you just shouldn't be posting it in July when search volumes are way down. You should be posting that thing in October or November to get that traction. So it starts really selling in December and January. So this is an interesting thing here. Now let's pretend that I'm torn between birthday invitation and a party invitation. So let me add this comparison. You can add a third comparison. I'm not even sure if there's a limit. I've done like five or six before party invitation. All right. So you can see it's pretty comparable. It actually has a little bit more search volume than birthday invitation. It seems like, but it seems like these two are fairly close. Just for the sake of seeing this a little cleaner, I'm gonna delete wedding invitation. So hit the three dots, remove. All right, so we have birthday invitation, which is blue and party invitation, which is red. They seem pretty comparable. P party invitation actually seems to get a few more hits. It seems like during the spikes, the party invitation is actually getting more search volume than birthday invitation. So if you're kind of torn between, okay, I know I want to make invitation and I know I want it to be for a birthday. Maybe you want to target the keyword party invitation, not birthday invitation. Albeit there might be more competition for party invitation. I'm not sure you'd have to use a different tool like E-Rank, which I cover in a different video. But this is just some interesting data and you can kind of figure out what works and what doesn't and what you should compete for. Now I'll just scroll down. This is the last thing I'm going to show you. You can play around this tool and really get in the weeds. I've spent hours looking at different printable ideas. You can scroll down and I know before when I just had the printable planner, we just, we had uh, those stats, but now we can see for both of them. So if we scroll down, you can see the breakdown by sub region. So you can see how many people are from each state or the top five search states are searching for each one. You can see that the birthday invitation is in the blue, the party invitation in the red. You can scroll out even more. And so this is my favorite thing, related queries. You do not have related topics when you have multiple um, search terms. When you do have one search term, you do have that related topic section. It's not as helpful for creating printables, but it is something that's worth noting. And so you can see, okay, Moana birthday invitation probably want to stay away from that if you don't want to run into any licensing or trademark issues with Disney. Uh, emoji birthday invitation, Canva, Moana birthday invitation template, unicorn birthday invitation. Okay. So now, oh, this is perfect. So you can see these are breakout. I'm not sure what the breakout threshold is exactly, but it means really high. So unicorn birthday invitation right now is up 3,150%. So if you're already dead set on making that birthday invitation, but you're not sure exactly what you want to make it like how you want to make it unique looks like a unicorn birthday invitation might be in the cards for you because that search volume is huge and then same thing for party invitations we have a lot of the similar ones here because obviously these are very similar search terms but if i actually add back wedding invitation 
probably get some cool related queries and we can see, okay, what are some, what are some related stuff that people are looking up? So wedding invitation. So wedding invitation details card, laser cut, average cost, what to include. Okay, these aren't too, too helpful for printable purposes, but these related queries can definitely give you some ideas that you might not think of right off the bat. So I think I pretty much covered everything with this tool. Obviously there are more functionalities and you can really get in the weeds here, but just for a general use, this is really helpful figuring out what's gonna sell and what is not going to sell. So if you think, okay, awesome Cody, I have a bunch of new printable ideas and you still aren't sure how to do all that other research using tools like E-Rank, which I mentioned before, and some other really cool research tools, I actually have another video that will pop up on the screen later on once this video is about to wrap up. You can click on and learn more about selling printables online. We also have lists of printable ideas. We have a free 65 list, a 65 item list of printable ideas that you guys can steal. You guys can check out for yourselves. It's a free download. It's going to be in the description along with a bunch of other awesome resources. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you guys and hope you crush it on your printables journey.